Hello students, welcome back. This is Dr. Mercado speaking. I hope all of you are doing great, are excited for a brand new week. This is the beginning of week number five. Um, this is Accounting 1303, Introduction to Accounting 1. And this short lecture is going to be covering both my VO1 and my VO2 sections. I've got two sections of Introduction to Accounting 1. Now this is going to be a very different lecture than my usual lectures. Usually I cover content, problems, stuff like that. This is just a, an overview of what we are going to be working on week number five, my expectations for the week. You've got two independent assignments that you're going to be working on. So this week there will be no lecture about problem solving. This is more of you know reminding students of what needs to happen okay so let's me transition over to what's going to happen week number five there's two things that need to happen week number five okay and it needs to happen in this order the first thing you need to do is complete test number one a review was provided during week number four so you know exactly what it's going to be on your test okay the first test is going to cover chapters one two and three okay your test is due on thursday uh, February 18th, 2021 at 11 p.m. You've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, that's four full days, to complete your test. You have two tries, and I keep the highest grade earned. After you are done with test number one, you're going to begin coordinating and working on group project number one, which happens to be to write a professional memo. Okay. Working in industry requires students not only to be able to communicate electronically, physically, but in writing as well. Being able to write a professional memo is super important. Um, so that is what the group project is going to be. Now you're going to begin working on the group project this week. It's not due till next week, till week number six. But during this week, I want students to, first of all, get in contact with all of your uh, group members. And I'll go over the list of your group distribution in a bit. But you need to establish communication. Please be responsive to your classmates, okay? Set a time limit. Say, okay, all of my teams, someone needs to take the lead, okay? So I need someone to take the lead, take the initiative, send out the email requesting how are we going to communicate the contact information for each group member, their phone number, their email, however it is that you all want to communicate, okay? It's up to you. Um, and you set a time frame. You tell your group members, okay? In order to be included in the group assignment, you need to respond and establish communication with us by a specific date and time, okay? If the group members do not meet that specific date and time, then you exclude them from the group. You document that you send out numerous emails following up requesting that they contact you. If there is no contact made, then they'll be excluded from your group and they will earn a zero for the assignment. They will not be allowed to do it on their own. This is a group project and we need to learn how to work in groups. And that entails being responsive, communicating with your group members, maintaining communication with your group members, okay? So I don't wanna hear the excuse, well, miss, my group didn't allow me to participate. Well, if your group set a specific date and time that everybody needed to respond to and you failed to adhere to their request, then they have all of their rights to kick you out of the team, okay? Because that's what happens in the real world. You know, we can't be sitting around and waiting for you to respond. The project needs to move forward. We need to get going. And if you're not willing to invest the time to participate and respond to us, then too bad. We're moving on without you, okay? So it's very important that you check your Blackboard every day, that you communicate with your group members immediately. That way you can start brainstorming who's going to do what, how are you going to be submitting each other's part, how are you going to be reviewing each other's part, okay? What I've seen a lot of students or a lot of groups do is they split the project amongst the group members. And then they just put it together and they don't even look or do a review after the fact that all of the parts have been put together and the work does not make any sense. It's not coherent. It does not flow correctly. It is super important that after each group member, if that is the route that you want to take, does their part that you get together, you do a Zoom session or whatever, you know, FaceTime or whatever it is that you all do, you get together uh, and you review the final memo together. You create, cre uh, do uh, constructive criticism, find areas for improvement, modify, make, make any needed modifications. Um, 
revisions, and then finally you get the final professional memo. You upload it and you submit it in week number six. Okay, so this is the two things that are going to be going down week number five. Now I do have two sections, so I am going to go over two different uh, Blackboard uh, modules. So just bear with me. Uh, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start with Introduction to Accounting One V01. Okay, so if you're in my V01 class, this is for you. Okay, if not, hold on a bit for me. Okay, so we're going to go to course content and we're going to go to week five. Everything is in week five, guys. Okay, I've included all of the information. So, like I mentioned, you've got your test going on the first part of the week. The review is provided once again. The test is worth 150 points. That is 15% of your overall grade. If you do not earn a 70% or greater on your first try, please use the second attempt provided to try to improve your standing in the course. Okay, so if you've got all of the information for your review in Blackboard, okay. I went ahead and I included a little short uh, video about how to write a clear business memo. There is a lot of information on YouTube, on, on you know Yahoo, on uh, Google on how to write a business memo. Okay, use whatever resources that you want to be able to find out how to write a good business memo. Okay, that is just a little bit of a piece of information to kind of refresh your memory. Now below that is the group assignment. This is what you're going to be working on. Okay, and I'm only going to go this once. It's the same assignment for both my sections, so this applies to both of my classes. So it states. You are a public accountant with many small business clients. During a recent visit to a client's business, the bookkeeper approached you with a problem. The columns of the trial balance were not equal. You helped the bookkeeper find and correct the error, but believe you should go one step further. The requirements of the memo. You have to write a memo to all of your business clients that explains A. What is the purpose of the double entry framework? B. What is the importance of maintaining the equality of the accounting equation? C. What is the type of errors that might cause an inequality? Please include a minimum of five types of errors. Okay. Explain those types of errors. Don't just list them. Okay. Suggestions for finding and correcting each type of error identified in letter C. How do we fix those errors that you identified? What must you do if you are not able to locate the error that is causing the inequality? Okay, so it's five requirements that need to be addressed. Now, very careful. The document it needs to be in a memo format. Uh, it has to be 12 font times New Roman. The response, the total number of, of, of uh, word count should be between 500 to 750 words. Now, all members must participate and contribute to the, country, uh, the creation of the memo. If you have one or two or three group members that did not participate, that you kicked them out or they never responded, don't include their names on the memo. I'm going to give a grade only to the names of the students that appear on the memo. That tells me if the name is appearing on the memo, that tells me that that student participated. So. Please only include the names of the group members that actively participated in the assignment um, in the memo. Only students that participate will obtain the points. Okay. Now we are all adults now. We need to behave like adults and take on this responsibility and be responsive and meet those deadlines. Okay. I don't want to hear excuses. Okay. If you have a valid excuse, you're sick, something's happening in your life, then you contact me, you let me know what's going on, and we figure something out. Okay. Now, the document, uh, the business memo is going to be 90 points, worth 90 points. And then there's going to be a self and peer evaluation you'll be completing next week, week number six. I will make that available to you next week. So, in total, the uh, group memo is worth 100 points, which is 10% of your overall grade. This is how I'm going to grade. 10% is with the formatting. Uh, 10 points is the organization. 60 points is the content and 10 points is the grammar. That gives me my 90 points. Okay. Make sure that you check your spelling, your grammar, that whatever you wrote makes sense, that you meet the word count criteria, that you're using the correct font. Uh, make sure that you do an in-depth review before you submit your final uh professional memo. 
Okay, so these are the instructions for your memo for both my VO1 and my VO2 section. Now, who is going to be in my group? I've been getting a lot of questions, Miss, can we choose our group members? No, you cannot, okay? In the real world, 90% of the time, we get told who to work with. We don't work with our friends, we work with whoever we get assigned to. So guess what, welcome to the real world, that is what I'm doing in my class. I have set up five groups. This is for my VO1 section, okay? So this is the group list for my VO1 section. Each group has five students, okay? So I've got the names of each of the students. Um, and these are the students that continued to be registered in my course as of the date that I created uh, this information, okay? Please, I cannot emphasize it enough, please, establish communication with your group members, set a time limit, and keep all of the communication between your group members in case there's a dispute of whether one person contributed or not contributed or if they kicked them out, whatever the reason might be, okay? Keep your communication. Um, and these, these are the five groups for my VO1 section, okay? So in group number one, I have Oscar Armendariz, Ashley Nino, Juan Salinas, Mariska Garcia and Fernanda Moreno. Group number two, I've got Karen Prado, Antonio Herrera, Juan de Dios Marto, Leslie Abundis, and San Juanita Hernandez. Group number three, I've got Desiree Surprise, Vivian Galvan, Jose Osornio, Kaylee Lial, and Isabel Ibarra. Group number four, I've got Lisbeth Cantu, Guadalupe Hernandez, Stephanie Castro, Cristelda Riojas, and Ana Solis. And then the last group, we've got Adriana Quintero, Emily Cardenas, Pedro Carrion, David Valladares, and Stainer Parchment, okay? These are your groups. Please contact them immediately, request their phone numbers, or any way of, of you're gonna, how you're going to communicate through WhatsApp, whatever the case might be, um, and start working on the assignment because it is due next week. And on top of the group project, you have additional work that you're going to be working on on week number six. It's not just the group project. So you have part of week five and all of week six to finalize your group project. So that's two weeks to work on this assignment. Okay. So this week you've got your test, which is due on February the 18th, which is on Thursday. And you are going to begin working on your group project Please communicate with each other, establish communication so you can begin working on your project, start delegating, figuring out who's going to do what and how are you going to go about by putting it together. Okay. So this week, week number five, the only assignment that needs to be completed is your test number one over chapters one through three. Okay. Now I'm going to get out of my VO1 section and I'm going to go to my VO2 section. Okay. Same information is going to be found. The only difference is, of course, your groups are going to be different because this is a different class, okay? So let me go to week number five, and I'm going to skip all of this because we've already gone over. I'm just going to go to my group list, okay? So this is my group list for my VO2 class, okay? So um, I've got five groups. Four of those groups are going to have five students. One group is going to have six students, okay, because I have an unequal number of students in my class, okay? So, in group number one, I've got Jaretzi Elizondo, Wendy Guajardo Bautista, Ruby Castillo, Delaney Montoya, and Daniela Sims. Group number two, I've got Samantha Hernandez, Eric Castellanos, Belinda Cisneros, Steven Flores, and Cassandra Cordova. Group number three, I've got Francesca Cantu, Kyla Jackson, Savannah Martinez, Israel Martinez, and Iram Bias. Group number four, I've got Micah Taylor, Abigail Cruz, Lorena Rios, Nayeli Rodriguez, and Juan Rios. And group number five, I've got Giovanna Carrillo, Brenda Carpio, Crystal Martinez Ortiz, Caitlin Curtis, Beatriz Carranza, and Alexis Silva. Okay, these are your groups for the group project. Okay, for my VO2 section. Okay, so that is what's going to happen week number five. If you need any clarification on the uh, professional memo instructions, 
Um, anything of that nature, please do not hesitate to reach out to me so I can clarify your question or concerns and you can move forward with writing your business memo. Okay. Um, and that is basically it. Um, I want to wish you all the best of luck on your uh, test number one. I know all of you are going to do wonderful because you've been doing great on your um uh, homework and your quizzes so if the trend continues all of you should do great on your test number one all of the problems on your test come directly from your homework so you've been exposed to these problems before so um it's just very important that you stay organized you make sure that you uh, allocate sufficient time to complete your test if you don't get a 70 percent or better on your first try please utilize the second attempt to try to improve your grade there is no makeups for missed assignments. There is no extensions unless there is a documented excuse. Please mark your calendar so when you know when your test is due and when your group project is due. Okay, so that is basically it for my lecture over week number five. I'm here. I'm available. I'm here. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, um, I want to wish you all a wonderful week. And until next time, thank you very much.